The Trudeau government gave $86 million to the World Health Organization in 2021-2022. The amount of Canadian tax dollars sent to the United Nations Agency, which is accused of covering up China's role in the coronavirus pandemic, includes a $4 million top-up from the previous year. The numbers were divulged by Global Affairs as part of a response to an order paper question posed by Conservative MP Shuvaloy Majumdar. The increase in funding comes after the World Health Organization went from dismissing the theory that the pandemic virus leaked from a military lab in Wuhan, China, to doing a total U-turn on the virus's origins. Now, coronavirus isn't the only thing the World Health Organization got wrong. World Health Organization head, doctor of veterinary science Tedros, has recently accused Israeli defense forces of destroying a hospital in Gaza. And he called for a ceasefire between Israel and the terror group Hamas. But we cannot truly protect and promote the health of the people of Gaza without a ceasefire, as Tishak underlined. Without a ceasefire, there is no peace. And without peace, there is no help. While 220 Israeli hostages were still being held. Now, Tedros failed to mention the hospital was used by Hamas as a weapons cache, and 90 terrorists were inside the hospital when the IDF converged upon it. I guess the Liberals aren't the only people being constantly rewarded for being bad at their jobs. Same goes at the United Nations. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you believe that local health decisions are best left to local experts and elected officials and not unelected oligarchs at a United Nations agency, please sign our petition at ExposeTheWho.com.